Hey y'all, thought I'd share a little video for a project I'm working on. So in this box right here with the horrible Sharpie marks on it is a M2 Machina. Uh, it's an Arduino Do box uh, that uses CAN bus to talk. Uh, underneath the dash, I don't think you can really see it. All you can see is the mil spec connectors. Up inside of there is a Haltech Nexus R5. And right here, we've got a three x five keypad, but that's not the important part. What we have here is a blink stop freewheel uh, wireless steering wheel button con uh, button setup. And over here is the controller for it. And that is all on a little CAN bus hub that I 3D printed and built. So why this is interesting. So the keypad is keypad A. So when I press the buttons, you'll see here, when I monitor it in the Nexus, they work fine. But keypad B is where this gets interesting. So let's take a look at keypad B. And what I've done is programmed a can sniffer uh, to list, well, I've programmed an emulator on the do uh, that M2 Machina Arduino to emulate keypad B, and it goes through everything to make the Nexus R5 think that there's a keypad B. And then when I come over here, I'm gonna press the button here, and as I'm pressing it, you'll see that it turns on. This is my left turn signal. Uh, we've got right turn signal and using CAN bus. So essentially what I do is I sniff the CAN bus for the output from the freewheel controller on the CAN, and then I do a translation to those to emulate a button press from a Haltech keypad, which is really a gray hill keypad. Uh, but I go through all the configurations. So if we go and look right here, so keypad A, that's a real Haltech keypad connected to the R5. Keypad B is my Arduino-based emulator that is pretending to be a keypad so that I can send button presses from something that's not a keypad. Uh, so Haltech, if you're watching, like guys, if you could just open up CAN bus, even just give me some destination stuff so I don't have to do all this crap, that would have saved me most of a Sunday. Uh, but since I've already done it, I figured I'd put together a little video and share it for anybody that has questions. I will go ahead and post the code that I wrote to make this work up on uh, GitHub or somewhere so we can share it. And again, it's just an Arduino sketch. It'll run on any Arduino, uh, but it, it needs to be pretty fast. So you'll probably want something uh, with a decent bit of memory and a decent bit of processor performance. Uh, the cheapest of the Arduinos may not be a great idea. So like I said, I'll go ahead and post this up and share it. And if anybody's interested in seeing what I did, I'll put a link to the code with it. Have a great day, everybody.